Power takeoff or PTO related incidents with farm equipment are among the leading cause of tractor related accidents. Understanding how to inspect and properly use the PTO can help prevent injury. The PTO is a spline shaft at the rear of the tractor that is directly connected to the transmission. Some tractors also have a mid PTO that is mounted underneath the tractor to connect to a mid mount mower or front implement. The rear and mid PTO are of different sizes to prevent incorrect application. The PTO transfers power from the engine to the attachment implements. Current Yanmar tractors are equipped with an independent PTO, which allows the engine and PTO to operate independent of one another through separate clutches. The PTO rate of rotation is determined by the RPMs of the engine. This makes for better efficiency, safety check. When performing activities near PTO connected implements, the tractor and attachment should be turned off and the parking brake applied. This will prevent any unexpected PTO operation from occurring during startup. Once accomplished, a safety check should be performed before attaching anything to the PTO shaft. Start off the safety check by inspecting the PTO shaft guard for bends, cuts, or missing parts. The PTO shaft guard provides protection for the operator when the PTO is turning. Next, inspect the PTO shaft by looking for missing, bent, or broken splines. Finally, when the PTO is in the off position, try to turn the shaft. Some PTOs will turn slightly. Many tractors are equipped with a neutral position or a front-only PTO setting. These will allow movement of the PTO shaft to simplify the attachment process. If any of these are found to be damaged or unserviceable, contact your authorized Yanmar service dealer. Driveline Inspection The implement driveline typically consists of four main parts. The driveline, telescoping shaft, universal joint, and driveline guard. The driveline guard is made up of three parts, the bearing, tube, and bell. Securely attaching the implement driveline to the PTO is an important part of ensuring safety. When connecting the implement driveline, make certain to securely attach and lock into place. There are several methods used to perform this activity. One of the more common methods is a driveline locking collar, which is retracted, installed, and then released to lock. In another style, the PTO is pressed onto the shaft and then rotated to lock in place. A third alternative is a button on the yoke that is depressed, slid on, and then released. Once the implement driveline has been attached, firmly pull back on the bell and the driveline to ensure it is locked into position. Failure to properly attach the PTO can cause the implement driveline to separate and swing violently. This can cause damage to the tractor, implement, or individuals. For proper attachment information, consult the tractor and implement manuals. Important safety rules. Once an implement has been attached to the PTO and the tractor started, the following safety precautions should always be observed. Do not step over the driveline connection. Walk around the front of the tractor. Never operate the PTO with anyone behind the tractor. Do not wear loose or ripped clothing. Keep long hair pulled back or wear a hat. Both present the hazard of getting tangled in the PTO. The shaft link must always be appropriately sized for both the specific tractor and implement. Consult the tractor and implement manual for this information. Always use the proper ballast to ensure safe operation. Ballast information can be found in the tractor operator's manual. While you need to be careful, your tractor and PTO powered implements can be some of the most effective tools you have on your farm. They save time and labor for these heavy jobs. Stay safe and enjoy your Yanmar tractor. For more information and to find a dealer near you, visit us online at yanmartractor.com.